First, though, we want to hear from this man who calls himself the pro-life Spider-Man about his climb to the top of the Salesforce Tower today. He spoke with ABC 7 News reporter Stephanie Sierra. Stephanie, what did he have to say? Well, um, Mason Deschamps calls himself, as you pointed out, pro-life Spider-Man, and he says his trek up Salesforce Tower was not a spontaneous decision. In fact, he says it was pre-planned a month ago. He says he arrived from Las Vegas at SFO around 7 o'clock this morning and Ubered straight to Salesforce Tower. So why did he do it? Well, the anti-abortion activist says he did it with hopes to raise $1 million to support like-minded charities to, quote, stop doctors from killing babies. He scoped Salesforce a month ago when he first started planning this using Google Maps to assess the building. Deschamps has no regrets climbing the 1,070-foot skyscraper and was enjoying giving people a thumbs up, he says, who were filming him inside. If he could, he says he'd do it again. I was on my phone. I wanted to post some videos while I was up there. So when I was in jail, it would get out. Um, and then I was playing music and stuff and <laughs> just trying to like, just stay calm while you're up there. I cut my feet, which means just bringing your feet off the wall. And I hung off of one hand and, and shook out to kind of show off just for fun. Just give them a video, you know. <laughs> But according to him, this climb had nothing to do with the leaked draft about overturning Roe versus Wade. He says it was just meant to be that it happened around the same time the morning of. Deschamps is a senior at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and says he first started climbing around five years ago. Since starting the climb around 9 o'clock this morning, he says he's raised over $1,000 for his effort. Deschamps added the only thing that went wrong from his perspective is he got thirsty towards the end of the climb. But at no point was he scared or thought he was going to fall. Ama. Steph, I'm guessing this is not the first time he's done something like this. Your guess is good, Ama. No, in fact, he climbed Aria Hotel in Las Vegas last year to protest COVID restrictions and was also arrested then too, but those charges were dropped. Today, he was charged with two misdemeanors, trespassing and resisting arrest. And he made it very clear to me he has zero regrets and would certainly do it again. All right, Stephanie, thank you.